stained glass windows. What might we need for today's session? We're going to need a ruler, pencil, some sort of plastic. I'll just leave that to one side and I'll come back later. Colouring pens of some description so you can do your designs. And an A4 sheet of cards. If you don't have an A4 sheet, don't worry. Whatever type of card you might have, whether it's back of a cereal box, we're just going to need some sort of card because it makes a nice sturdy frame for us. On about your plastics. This mine, mine is so far a half cut up sheet of a A4 plastic wallet. But you might not have one of those lying around to cut up. If you don't, don't worry, you might have other bits of plastic. So here we've got a I think a card came out with this, so some cellophane. If not, you can use the windows on a envelope. You've got small envelopes that you can chop up. Money bags, they're clear and see-through, so you can chop one of those up. Or here is another, I think this is another bag. So again, I could use the bits that don't have writing on. Or I could incorporate the writing into my design as well. So whatever plastic you have lying around, feel free to use it. Find it. So those are the resources that we're going to need today. We're also going to need, before I forget, is some either some cellar tape. I've got some here double-sided sticky tape. You might have a prick stick or some PVA glue at home because you're going to need to stick these together later on. So step one in our stained glass window is you're going to take your A4 piece of card, your pencil and your ruler. And then you're going to draw yourself a box all the way on the inside. So you want to leave yourself about a good few centimetres gap. So if I can say, let's go for a three centimetre gap on this one. It could be as big or as little as you like. And again, it doesn't need to be accurate. But just roughly mark from each edge where three centimetres is going to be. Then, once you've marked it all up, you can draw your lines all the way. And so we're creating a box on the inside of our paper. It's going off screen there. Pencil marked out box all the way around on our card. Right, next step is slightly trickier. So you have two options here. So step two, cutting out this inner box, so we leave the border. Either cut in from the corner uh, and then go all the way around, or if you have an adult to help you, you can make a hole with the pencil carefully in one corner. So push your pencil through, just like that's got half, and then take your scissors and cut it out. So you're cutting out along the pencil line marks. Creating a 
frame to go up basically. You can either use for the paper crafts or you can just discard it and make an even smaller stained glass window later on. But it's the frame that we want to keep. Step three, you're gonna need your frame, you're gonna need your plastic, you're gonna need whatever style, sticky material you need and your scissors still. First thing we want to do is cut our plastic down to size. Now if you're using lots of small bits then you'll need to work out how many small bits you need to fit in your square. You can see my sheet's a bit too big so I'm going to cut this initially in half. If you're like me and using a big bit of plastic you can over exaggerate the measurements. So I'll show you with mine. See I've got some excess in areas and I can just go back later and cut those off once we're finished. So that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do now, put that to one side and I'm gonna take my double sided sticky tape or if you've got a Pritt stick or PVA glue we're going to put it around the edges here of the border now so that's where our border comes into play so let's just cut off some strips if you only have normal sellotape that works just as well you can just stick it over so the sellotape's on the front they're not meant to be perfect. I might put on another bit, you see. There we go, look at that. Put on a small bit. This side as well. There we go. So with double sided sticky tape now I have to go round carefully, peel off the back of it all. You can decide that later. Taking your plastic now, you want to put it down evenly over the top. I see mine's already bubbled, so it doesn't doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world. Try 
if you can get it as flat as possible, don't worry if you have a bit of this fiddly stuff. Oh, there we go, look at that. <laughs> then what I want to do is turn it over. Do you see some of here, I've got some edges. So if I wanted to now, I could go around and tidy those up. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my scissors again and just gently cut in the wrong side of the border. If you cut a bit of the card, it doesn't matter. This is the front, and this is the back. So now it's all ready for us to draw our designs. So, plowing on to the next stage, you're going to need your colouring pencils or pens. Pens are ideally better. At this stage, if you make a mistake, you can either try and go over it, but if you do want to try and remove it, the best suggestion I have is using a uh, clear nail varnish remover with acetone. If you get the acetone free ones, it's not going to do a lot. Uh, on some cotton wood and then gently wipe off the pen. Especially, it works really well for Sharpies to remove Sharpie mark. Uh, to remove permanent marker. Okay, so if you do make a mistake, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. There are stained glass windows, but if you want to, that's a way of removing markers. So I'm going to have a go at drawing the flood leaves from scouting. You can decide to do whatever you would like. So I have, I think, put lots of colour on it maybe, and then because these are going to go up in your windows on display, hopefully. So really have a good think about what you want it to look like. So you can mark it all out first, so you get your positionings how you would like it before you go and colour it all in. All depends what design you're going to do really. So you don't have to do the same design as me. But do try and go carefully. There we go, it's a bit rough and ready as mine. Definitely not gaining marks for artistic creativity, but now I can just go through and colour it all in. As you can see, it's already starting to come off onto my hands so you can wash your hands at the end of the day but give the mark a chance to dry otherwise we'll need to be needing to learn how to clean windows before you hang them up.
thing off. I'm going to light beavers at the top. And then right. There we go, all done. If you want to, you can decorate the border, but then you can also find somewhere else to put it up.